folks. Got another one for you here today. Um, got the Rockville DB16. Um, 2000 watt RMS amplifier, 8000 watt peak. Um, be curious about how this amp has been going to perform for a while. Finally uh, decided to buy one and test it out on the amp dial and see what we've got. Um, Rockville is the house brand for AudioSavings.com. Um, I had never heard of them until I had seen a couple of dynos that Big D Wiz did about two years ago. And this is their new line. Um, they used to have the M series. Um, and they still do have the M series. Those are one ohm stables, stable amplifiers. This is the DB, which is makes all its power at two ohm. So this amp is rated at. 1200 watts by one RMS at 4 ohms and 2000 watts by one at 2 ohms. So, we're going to see how it performs, but right now let's crack it open. Uh, this is not a small amplifier as you can tell from the box, it's pretty big. Uh, first thing we got, we have our burst sheet. So, this here as you can see. This is rated at 1272 by one. That's what they're saying it does at four ohms, uh, CEA rated, and 12 or 2,012 watts by at, by one channel at two ohms. That's supposed to be CEA certified. Um, I'm a little skeptical of this burst sheet. Um, you know, they're saying, well, this is how the amp performed, but they had to tape on the serial number at the top. But all these are nicely printed. Um, I'm not so sure on this one. Lucas, I'm not sure if this is legit or not. But we'll find it out, we'll strap it up, we'll see what it really does. Uh, your owner's manual's in here. I think there's a sticker in there as well. Um, it's nicely boxed. This is probably the nicest packaged amplifier I've ever had come across. Um, this here is your remote base knob and cable. Uh, you can't hear it, but this is metal. It's a metal base knob. It's not cheap. Over here. You get a fuse holder. 200 amp external fuse. screws and allen keys and one amplifier so if you've seen the unboxing that Rockville did you're not surprised by any of this this is they showed it in one of their videos and unboxing so well, that's just what I do so let's get this big old box out of here and we'll show you the amp this is it here. Pretty nice looking. Um, it's got a nice brushed black aluminum finish on the top. This logo lights up, so that's pretty nice. And this is the DB series, DB16. On this side, you've got your power and your speaker terminals right here. Um, if you can see that. So these are zero gauge inputs. That's very nice. That's what you want to see. A remote input there. On the flip side, these are really tiny speaker outputs. Um, these look like at best 10 gauge and probably 12 gauge. So I would have liked to have seen a uh, at least an 8 gauge for a 2000 watt amplifier. Over here. As you can see, we have all your settings over here. Um, this is a linkable amp, so you can strap two of these together at four ohms. Um, so you've output master your slave here. It's just an RCA cable that will go out to the other amp. You have your RCA ins and outputs. Um, you have your remote input here, power light, protect light, your low pass filter, your base equalizer otherwise known as your bass boost is right here phase adjustment subsonic filter and your gain so 
pretty uh, pretty standard stuff. Um, you know, I'm really curious as to this, how this amp performs. It's got the looks, it's got the weight. Um, you know, when you look inside the amplifier, uh, you can see it's it's pretty nicely laid out on the interior of this. Um, so it it's got the looks, but does it have what it takes to really be a 2,000 watt amplifier for 215 bucks? Um, I have not had a very high success rate <laughs> with finding a 2,000 watt amplifier for under 250 bucks, but can we break the chains? Um, so far, I mean, I've only had the bell that it's cracked over 2,000 watts at around 200 bucks. Um, so, do we have an equal to the Belva? <laughs> yeah, I know, that's a, that's a great thing to try to challenge. I'm after Belva. I want to match Belva. So, <laughs> we'll see how this one does. We're going to strap it to the dyno and we're going to see what does the Rockville DB16 actually produce. thoughts on the Rockville Audio DB16 amplifier. Um, as you saw in the results, we got shy of 2,000 watts on the um, certified test and shy of 2,000 watts on the uncertified test. Um, we got about 1750, 1760 on the uncertified test. Um, I'll know once I look back at the video, just like you will. Um, and of course, dynamically though, we got over 2300 watts. So that was very good, that exceeded its ratings. Um, so, my final thought on this amp is, yeah, I would say it's a budget gem. Um, now I know, again, usually I am Mr. Exceed Your Ratings or Meet Your Ratings on a certified test. Um, you know, I, I gave a lot of, uh, of the business to the uh, um, American Bass and VFL Audio amps. Um, because it didn't hit its ratings. Well, differences here is this one at least did hit it dynamically, those did not. Um, also two, this is less money. And of course, uh, number three, I don't know really for sure if this won't hit its ratings it's certified. I know I'm kind of leaving you guys with a mystery here, but as you saw, my circuit in the house blew out while testing the amplifier. Um, that, I, of course, I didn't just do a one and done. Uh, I only filmed one time, but I did come back and run the test again after resetting the circuit and I got the exact same results. So, um, I don't know if I'm being limited by the power supplies I have. I mean, these were maxed. I mean, both of them were, I mean, one of them was registering um, up to 190 amps. The other one was uh, well over 100 amps. And, you know, these amp meters that are in these are not exactly the most accurate. So, unless I had a, uh, um, a clamp meter, I can't tell you exactly what the amp is drawing. But, at the same time, my power supply is definitely maxed out. My circuit in my house is maxed out. 
I don't know for sure that if I had uh, infinitely more powerful uh, power supply to give this amp, um, if it would hit it or not. So, you know, do I consider this amp a uh, budget gem or a budget bust? Uh, I'm gonna go with a budget gem. Two thumbs up because it's 215 bucks. You will get over 2,000 watts out of this amp, um, even if it's just dynamically. It is capable of, of doing over 2,000 watts. Um, it's a nice looking amplifier. The circuit board looks pretty nicely laid out. Um, if you don't have a lot of money, you're looking for a, a lot of power, um, this might be the one for you. Um, it is going to come with a warranty of one year, so I'm not claiming I know the reliability of these amps. I haven't seen a lot of information about the DB series out there from people who've owned them. I do know the M series, the one that Big D Wiz tested two years ago, turned out to not be the most reliable of amplifiers. Um, again, you're spending about 150 to 200 bucks on an amplifier. I mean, you're not buying a thousand a thousand dollar JL Audio that's going to last years and years and years, or a $600 Rockford Fosgate Power Series that's going to last years and years and years. Mm, that's not what you get with some of these budget amps. So, if you know you're getting a budget amp, you know it's not going to last you, you know, years and years and years, but you want to put out a lot of power for as long as you can, um, this is not a bad option. It's nice looking, it's got a little bling factor. Enjoy it while you, while you can. Um, again, I bought this amplifier with my own money. I've been fairly impressed by it for how much money I spent on it. Um, I think you're probably gonna like it. And that's all I have to say. So, good job Rockville. Till next time, I got more amps to test.